Hey everybody, welcome back to Card Curiosity, where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world. And today, we have another episode of Rip It or Skip It, where we break down a box of cards and try to decide whether it's something that is worth investing in. So we're going to look today at 2024 Topps Chrome Tennis, the Sapphire Edition. All right. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, we know you know that uh, Sapphire products from Tops are some of our favorites. Uh, here is a handful of examples of what these cards could look like. And Sapphire is a more of a high-end product, has a really nice nice feel to it, and um, we're just we're pretty excited to look at this. And our criteria, if you remember, we look at four four things. We look at the price of an item to see if it's uh, can be attained at a reasonable uh, price. Hopefully not not going to charge an arm and a leg just to get your hands on this. Second, we look at the checklist. We want to make sure that the people that are in the product are players that are investable and hopefully that there's not too many of them. Uh, third, we're going to look at the gradability and whether or not if you submit cards to PSA or SGC, uh, see what your chances of getting uh, Gem Mint 10s are there. That's how you make a lot of your money back here when it comes to cards. It's by grading. And then finally, we want to look at the relevance of the card long term or the staying power just to see if it's something that's going to hold value over time. So uh, to start with on the price side, I have David Adams pulled up here and they honestly don't even have uh, any Sapphire versions of this available. Um, I can tell you on the TOPS website when you if you got your hands on some when it was first released, you're paying around $150 per box. So you compare that to here's blowout cards. You can see like what the regular uh, boxes of cards are going for one 140 here on tops Chrome tennis there, and that's honestly that's lower. The Breakers Delight box is at 160. Um, so for for regular tops Chrome, these were 180 to uh, to 200 dollars when they first came from Tops website. So the price of of regular Chrome has gone down. And Sapphire, they just don't seem to have any. Um, there is one one place here that has boxes of Sapphire at 235. If you look on Google, and you can still find them on eBay and stuff. So they're going right now for around that $225 uh, dollar mark. So on the price side, we're going to give this score a four out of five because it, it first came in under $200, which is pretty reasonable these days. Um, less than 200 bucks is is uh, that's I mean. It's, crazy to say that that's pretty good. Um, it's a lot of money, of course, for, for most people, but you have products that are four or $500, some even up to a thousand these days. So um, if you can find a box for under 200, you're doing all right. So four out of five on the price. Next, let's, let's jump over to the checklist. And um, I think this is where we're going to hit kind of our first snag. And you can see the base set has 200 cards. All right. That's, it's, it's going to be the same as, as top scrum tennis. But um, you can see that you get the little blue cracked ice uh, sapphire look here on most of these cards. You get some parallels, um, different colors. They look really sharp. You get the autographs, things like that. So 200 players is big, um, way bigger than we'd like to see on any checklist. And you only get one autograph. So in the, uh, the Topps Chrome Hobby Boxes, you got two autographs, I believe. Um, so one autograph is, is kind of a bummer. And the other thing that that's kind of stinky about this whole thing is that most of the time when you get sapphire you get like the base cards here like all these players and there's also going to be some like some inserts that are also pretty cool like in soccer you had the infinite sapphire those are case hits you have sapphire selections and football basketball baseball um soccer but over here it's nothing like it's just the base cards and it's just the autographs and so on the autograph side you get 96 names you certainly have a chance to pull some pretty big ones that are going to be worth a decent amount of money, as we'll show you. However, the fact that you have so many players that have signed in here, it's going to limit your ability to um, to get the, the players that you want. So, you know, 100 names up here for the autograph. You got 40 right here. And these are like the more kind of the, the bigger hits, if you will. Uh, some of the bigger hits down here, uh, you know, older players like Roddick. Um, let's see, you got... You know, Pagula, you got uh, some some big ones here. Let's see, Novak uh, Djokovic, I think, is in here somewhere as well, but maybe not in that category. So you got in image variation autographs, and uh, that's where, you know, like you can find a Venus Williams or, yeah, there's Novak. And so, like, these are, like, super, super rare here, these image variations, but you can hit some, some massive cards 
it's just hard hard to get them. So on the autograph side, same thing. I just I just feel like it's 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 too many. Um, 200 base cards and you know 150 plus autographs. It's going to be tough to get the players that you want if you're only getting one autograph per box. So on the checklist side, we're going to give this a two out of five. I think very easily if 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 they cut this down, the base cards down to 100, and the autographs down to just just 100 here there. Like instead of being 150 plus, you're talking um, easily getting a, a four out of, a four or, or a five on this checklist. So it's not bad. You can still get decent hits. Um, let's jump to the great ability. And we don't have a ton to go off of here. I think this is the first tennis sapphire product that we have. But what we can do is we can look at like the baseball version and see how that is done. And so like 2024 Bowman baseball um, sapphire, those are gemming at around 64%. And I would expect something like this to be similar. Um, I, I can tell you from the box that we opened, I was kind of surprised at how many cards had like little, very tiny nicks or like dimples on the surface that I know are going to uh, to hurt the grade. And so I think there's a maybe a quality control um, issue with some of these uh, Sapphire cards here in this particular product. Um, we did find some, some to send in in grade, but not nearly as many as I had hoped. So um, on the grading side, I'm going to give this a three out of five. And then finally, let's look at the, the relevance and staying power of these cards. Um, I have pulled up just kind of the uh, a list of sapphire autographs that are uh, that sold for more than 250 so 250 dollars and so you can kind of see who they are you know venus williams we got an orange out of 25 she doesn't sign very often i'm kind of surprised that went for as low as it did um, you have a you know a one of one here which you know that don't really want to you know even consider that as anything but um this one here out of 25 you can see an orange autograph um he's a pretty pretty good player there went for 500. Um, you've got uh, this one here, orange, uh, at 295. This one, even though it says 10,000 for Novak, um, the actual sale price was six, which is still really, really good. So he's a he's a big chase. That one's numbered to 10. This one numbered to 10. You know, at 450, I think it went for you know 250 or so. Um, and so you have you have the ability to see you can see there 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 are cards plenty of cards that that go for more than 250 dollars and so like if you're if you're looking for you know a chance to get one autograph that's going to sell for more than your the price of your box um you can see that these all have they have to be color you know low numbered with with color on them you're not seeing base autographs that are going here um and so with only one autograph per box you can kind of see what those prices have looked like. Um, as far as how this is going to last over time, I thought the best thing to maybe look at would be like how some of the, the autographs for like Novak Djokovic over time have have done compared to the recent ones. So you can see like recently, this is just Topps Chrome, regular version. An orange went for 1800. A silver here out of 99 went for, you know, 1700. Um, you've got this older card in 2007 that may be his rookie card um, because I don't think it's numbered, but that thing, um, I guess I got a PSA 10 and that, that went for six grand. And so there's obviously some demand for some of his older cards as well. Six grand on this one, but it's numbered to 10, uh, 550 on, on this one here, but it's not, it's not graded by PSA, just authenticated. And so like, I, you know, I, I think my, my hunch is that when it comes to some of these cards, you can see another, a gold autograph here from Topps Chrome at, at 2,400. Here's another 2007 card at 1500. It feels like it feels like these cards should should keep their relevance for the most part over time. I think they'll. Um, I think that's primarily just going to be because tennis players don't sign a whole lot, and so any autograph you can find of a big tennis player is probably going to to be worth something um, as long as that player is is good enough. And so you know, Djokovic is of course a goat here. He's he's a been a phenomenal player and you know will go down in history as one of the best <clears throat> and so I, I i do think for the best players you're going to see their cards continue to to do well whether it's you know sapphire whether it's tops chrome or some of the older ones and so i'm going to give the the staying power and relevance of these sapphire autographs i'm going to give them a three out of five i think there's a, there's a good chance good chance that people still want them you know five ten years from now um and, and that that I think is is, is good. That's good for, for people that are ripping this if you can find the right player. So 
Um, if you add up all the scores, we're going to give this product a 12 out of 20, which is not too bad. Like I said, I think we, if you cut the checklist in half and only have 100 players in here, I think we could get that up to a 15 out of 20 almost. And then we can fully recommend you rip it. But because it's only 12, it's kind of right on the bubble. Um, I'd say for the price, if you can find it for 150 to 200 dollars, and you want to have some fun and you like tennis, um, you know, I, I'll give you my blessing. But for most of us out here, if you're trying to make money, we're going to have to recommend that you skip it and instead maybe try to find some singles to grade. So hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, stay curious.